Thanks for joining me, this is Danny, and welcome back to my Real Tech series. Today we are going to be making a Tinker's Shortbow in order to prepare to meet the Ender Dragon. For comparison's sake, I have this crash dummy from the mm -mm -mm mod. This is a dummy that we can hit, and it'll show us what kind of damage that we're doing with our weapons and such, or even our pegaxe, whatever. I currently have this paper manual in shuriken, which is very fast, and it does a fair decent amount of damage, um, but the problem is that its range is very short, and plus since I didn't make it unbreaking, and because it's very fast, it loses durability very quickly, so that's the reason that I'm going to be making a bow. There are three different types of bows we can make in Tinkers, there is the short bow, the long bow, and the crossbow. The short bow is the fastest one, the long bow does a bit more damage, and the crossbow can be preloaded so that we can shoot instantly however it is very slow i'm gonna go with the short bow um, because it's the fastest and that's really what i want for the ender dragon fight is i want to be able to hit him multiple times and we'll still be able to do a fair amount of damage with the short bow as we will soon see if we look in our, tink our materials in you we can see that there are multiple different materials that we can use for the bow limb um, and they are rated based on their draw speed how fast can you draw the bow, the range multiplier, how far can they shoot, and then the bonus damage. A good balance that I want to use is Cobalt. Cobalt is very fast. Um, it also has decent durability, and it has a decent range multiplier. Um, the other material that I'm going to use is Electrum. Electrum actually is faster, and it gives us more damage, but the durability is terrible. Um, so I'm kind of going to go halfway between these two. So if we, we're going to need three ingots for each bow limb, so six ingots of of material all together. Um, I've got the cast here. So we're doing Electrum, and if you don't know, Electrum is gold and silver. And in this pack, it's added by Immersive Engineering, but there are several other mods that also use Electrum. Um, so the other, parts that, the, the other part we're going to need is a bow string. I mean, it really doesn't matter uh, what you use. All the bow strings, at least in this pack, are the same. So if we look at the bowstrings, we will see they all have a modifier, and they're all one. <laughs> so it really doesn't matter. So we may as well just use string. Oops, for the bowstring. Uh, I don't remember how many we need for that. But that we can do right in our part table. We use the bowstring pattern. It's a material cost of one. So it just uses one string. That's that, and there is our Electrum, and there's our bow. Cro Cobalt, Electrum, Short Bow. Now, we can use vanilla arrows with this. It's probably not the best choice, but just so that we can compare, we'll see what, what vanilla arrows will give us. So standing at the same spot that we were standing when we were holding our shuriken, we can see that we get 4.5. Um, the You can see the draw speed on this thing is pretty pretty fast so we can shoot pretty quickly with this thing oh and you may have seen already that the durability it was 415 um, we're going to be increasing both of those things the speed and the durability because that's really what i care about to do a little more damage we're going to want to make the tinkers arrows the difference between these and regular arrows is that you make one arrow and it has a certain number of shots within it and of course because it's tinkers it can be repaired thus restoring the arrows for that we're going to need a shaft a head and a fletching um, the head is the main determiner of damage, and manulin is our best bet for for that. Um, so, and that's a material cost of two, so we're going to need two manulin for that. Um, for the stick, or for the uh, shaft, I'm actually going to use treated wood. I don't remember what the material cost of that was. So there's the arrow shaft. Material cost is two. Why? Why is this not working? Oh, that was weird. Okay, so I had to remove that and put it back. So a treated wood shaft. Um, the, tr the treated wood shaft gives gives us a decent handle modifier, um, which basically means that it's going to increase the durability. Um, which and durability basically translates to the number of arrows that we get. So the the modifier is one point two. Um, it also has the ecological, which which means that it's going to auto repair. 
Um, here's some of our other options. We have reeds, which are breakable. Um, we have ice, which freezes the enemy. We have end rod, um, which gives us end speed. We're probably going to want that <laughs> eventually. That's pretty amazing. The arrow basically teleports to the target. And then, of course, we have regular wood, which also has ecological, but it only has the modifier of one. And then we have bone that has splitting, and sometimes you get two arrows out of it. And then blaze rod, which actually causes it to drift up more, but it's slower. So that's why we're not going to go with that. That might sound nice for the ender dragon, because then when it, the dragon is high up and you're trying to shoot it, your arrow will have a better chance of getting to it. But it's awfully slow, and it would be difficult to uh, hit the ender dragon with a slow arrow. And then for the fletching, we are going to use feathers. Again, there isn't a whole lot of difference with the fletchings. If we look... Um, oh, actually, that's not true. Feather is the best fletching because it has 100% accuracy. So we have the slime leaf, which has a, a modifier of 1.25. That'll give us more durability, but it decreases the accuracy. And that's true of all the slime leaves. And then a leaf actually gives us 1.5, a much better modifier. So it's adding 50% to our ammo. Um, but the accuracy is down 50%. So I think we're better off with more accuracy. And then perhaps we won't need as many arrows if we're accurate. Oh, no, I'm not going to make that out of feather. And I'm not going to make that at all. I am making so the fletching. We're going to make out of feather. That's a material cost of two. So we just need two feathers. And for some reason, it's doing that again. So <laughs> we'll take that out. Uh, my inventory is a mess from the last <laughs> build that I did. Okay, so now bolts, that, that, and that gives us this manulin um, arrow, which you can see we have an ammo of 98. We're going to crank that up a little bit. Attack is 11.72, accuracy 100%, modifiers 3. So that's that. All right, now we're going to do some modifiers. For the bow, I do want more speed. Um, the faster the better, as far as I'm concerned. So I'm probably going to end up using up all my redstone. Okay, maybe not all of it. So the rest I'm going to do for durability, because it would still be nice to have more durability than that. But I am also going to bring some things for repair. Actually, okay, for durability, I'm going to do diamond. That'll get us up to 915. Yeah, so that's, yeah. <laughs> and this will last a lot longer. Okay, so here's our final bow. We have durability of 915, a draw speed of 0.4, range multiplier of 1.15. So it goes 15% longer than average, I guess. Bonus damage, 3.5, attack 4, 15, bonus speed 10, plus 20. So it's fast. It's fast, fast. That's what we want. And now for our bolts, I'm going to do, or our arrows, I'm actually going to do a diamond again. That's going to bring us from 98 up to 148. Um, and then we are going to load this thing up with damage. Um, damage is completely determined by the bolts as far as modifiers go. If you add quartz to your cobalt, or if you add quartz to your short bow, it's not going to increase the damage it delivers as a bow. It'll increase the damage it delivers when you hit things <laughs> with it, which is, you know, I mean, I guess if you want to have double duty with it, where it's both a ranged weapon. Okay. And a melee, then maybe that would be nice. Okay, so let's make sure we don't have the arrows in our inventory, the vanilla arrows. Whoops. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. Nice. These numbers, by the way, are hearts. So it's actually doing like 20, what, 24 damage? Oh, wow, 24 damage. That's pretty good. Let's go find some mobs to kill. All right, got the spider here. Oh, yeah, well, okay. <laughs> so let's get a one hit any overworld mobs easily. Yeah, this is going to work really nicely. And against the Ender Dragon, we'll be going really fast. Look at that. And then I'm actually going to be using my Rapier against the Ender Dragon for uh, melee when we're going to be right up on him. And that, like, it doesn't do much damage per hit. It's uh, 10 attack damage, 10.36. Um, but it hits very fast. Hello, you guys. 
Oh, crap. Nice. <laughs> nice, it one hits everything in the overworld. The durability on these things isn't amazing, so I am going to make a couple of sharpening kits. I seriously doubt I'm going to need more than one. In fact, I'm not really sure I'll even need one, because this is giving us 148 shots. This one's giving us 915. Yeah, we're most likely not going to need to repair that one. But maybe we'll have to repair the bolts. They do auto-repair, but it's very slowly. It's going to be much slower than how, than how quickly we're using them. In fact, you can see it's repairing even as we speak. So it's like producing arrows out of nothing. So if you have any questions, comments, or ideas, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And of course, if you did enjoy this, don't forget to click the like button and to join me next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. -bye.